A smart TV can be an invaluable addition to your smart home. If you're looking for ways to watch shows, news, and sports without a cable or satellite provider, you've come to the right place. We rounded up the best smart TVs which use internet to access content for far greater capabilities than an average television. But before you invest, you need to research the best smart TVs and that's where we can help. We scoured the market and compared prices and features to find the very best smart TVs for your home or office, whether you want to watch movies, sports events, or your favorite YouTube videos. Our top picks come from the brands like TCL, Hisense, LG, Samsung, and Sony. We have listed the top 6 smart TVs and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 6. TCL 6 Series Roku TV For the last 5 years, the TCL 6 Series has been our favorite TV for the money, and the latest version, also known as the R655 Series, is no exception. This TV has an excellent image thanks to mini-LED tech and well-implemented full-array local dimming that helps it run circles around just about any other TV at this price. It improves upon the previous R635 Series with more gaming extras and a new center mount stand that you can elevate to make room for a soundbar although the new 85-inch size has standard legs. And finally, the Roku TV operating system is our hands-down favorite. Note that in addition to the R635, which this TV replaces, other versions of the 6 series were released in 2021 and remain on sale. The R646 series uses the Google TV operating system, but otherwise has similar specifications to the R655 model reviewed here. The R648 series has 8K resolution and is significantly more expensive. Number 5. 65-inch Hisense U8H Hisense is one of those TV brands that never ceases to amaze us. On par with names like TCL and Vizio, Hisense produces some excellent TVs with features and performance akin to much higher priced offerings from the likes of Samsung and LG but at a cost that most consumers can stomach. And when it comes to most arrestingly bright TV that you can buy today, there's nothing better than the mini-LED powered Hisense U8H. The next generation of the U8G series, the U8H actually requires a bit of tweaking out of the box, at least in our opinion. But once you've adjusted and disabled a couple of picture settings, you're going to get one of the most vibrant images on the market, regardless of what source you're watching. In our hands-on review of the U8H, we clocked peak nit levels that only the best models from Samsung, Sony, and LG have come even remotely close to. And thanks to a very active backlighting system, the U8H is capable of delivering some of the best contrast levels we've ever seen on a QLED set with minimal light blooming present in dark scenes. That's on top of two HDMI 2.1 inputs, 120Hz refresh rate, and powerful HDR support. While we had a couple of issues with the user interface which were fixed with a software update, if you're looking for a bright set with impressive colors and contrast, and at a crazy good price, the Hisense 65-inch U8H is an incredible option. Number 4. Sony A90J At nearly $2,000, it's safe to say that the Sony A90J has a luxury price tag. But for the money, you're getting an OLED with the best picture quality we've ever tested. Not only does the A90J surpass our previous luxury pick, the A8H, but it beats out every other TV on this list. While OLED typically provides superior performance over LED or QLED, the Sony A90J is the brightest OLED we've ever tested. It delivers a superb amount of detail and hyper-accurate colors. The improved OLED panel, which comes in 55-inch, 65-inch, and a huge 75-inch variant, is brighter than ever before, and a new heatsink lets the panel get hotter and, according to Sony, delivers sharper images while still keeping the panel safe. The result is a more immersive viewing experience. This also lets the A90J perform well even in a space that's less optimal for viewing. We watched during the day in a bright living room with sunlight flowing in from the left, and we could make out the images on the TV clearly and with good color accuracy. Aside from the panel, the A90J's performance depends on Sony's cognitive processor XR, which the company claims aims to analyze content in the same way a human eye does. In the climactic final battle of Avengers Endgame, in particular the shot where we see Captain America grab Mjolnir, we saw more details and truer pop of colors in that space on the A90J than we did on the A8H. Overall, the A90J's colors were simply more accurate than those produced by other sets we've tested. The A90J supports a full range of standards, including HDR, HDR+, and Dolby Vision, and the TV can detect these automatically. A Dolby Vision or HDR mode will be triggered on supported content, and if you want colors to pop with standard content, we'd look to Vivid or Director mode. The screen stretches to the edges of this unit, with minimal bezels. 
you get two height options with the included stand, you can set the bottom edge flush with a tabletop or raise to leave room for a soundbar, which we recommend with any contemporary TV. While the A90J is impressively thin, it doesn't leave much space in the cabinet for sound. Sony's solution is to use the screen itself as part of the audio system, as we have seen in the A8H and the LG CX, a set of actuators vibrates the entire display, using the full surface as a speaker. It's a well-balanced mix with better clarity than we experienced from TCL 6 series, which has traditional speakers. But even while the A90J is an improvement over the other TVs, it isn't room-filling on its own and we would still recommend pairing it with a soundbar or sound system. The smart interface is Google TV, which we've previously enjoyed using on the Chromecast. It's not as distinctly user-friendly as Roku, but it does let you control most of the experience with your voice and offers plenty of choices for finding content. All of the major players in streaming are here, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Apple TV+, Peacock, and HBO Max, among many others. And if you use YouTube TV, you'll be right at home. Like previous Sony TVs, the A90J also supports HomeKit, AirPlay, and Amazon Alexa. The A90J is all about picture quality, and if you're willing to spend $1,798 for a 55-inch or more for a larger screen, it's safe to say you won't be disappointed. The A90J delivers the best picture we've ever tested and is sure to make your movie nights 5-star. Number 3. 65-inch Samsung S95B It's hard to put any TV up against the 65-inch LG G2, but the Samsung S95B may actually be better than the G2 for some specific viewing situations. For starters, the S95B is a QD OLED set, which means that it essentially combines a traditional OLED panel with the powerful luminosity of the brand's tried and true Quantum Dot QLED backlighting. It's the perfect combination of brightness, color, and contrast, even if you're doing most of your TV watching in a bright room. The S95B also features four HDMI 2.1 inputs, ER capabilities, VRR support up to 4K 120Hz, and the ability to decode a number of HDR formats including HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG. Like any first-gen engineering, Samsung probably has design elements, specs, and various bells and whistles to tweak in the years to come. But right out of the gate, the QD OLED experience is TV watching like we've never seen. Number 2. Sony Bravia XR A95K OLED By any standard, the Sony Bravia XR A95K OLED is a remarkable TV, and often, it's far better than that. This set, which sits at the top of Sony's expansive TV lineup, unites the industry-defining technologies and Sony's own groundbreaking processing and picture enhancements to deliver superlative performance in every area. And our own test results back this up. What makes it so great for streaming? Google TV is in serious competition for the simplest, cleanest, and richest smart TV interface, and it's right at home on A95K. Simple and quick to navigate, easy to search, and adapt at presenting plenty of new and recent options without overwhelming, it makes finding and watching movies, TV shows, and anything else a breeze. And Google TV's seamless integration with Google Assistant helps still more, letting you search for things as easily on the TV as you would on your phone or computer. The question with the A95K then isn't whether it's one of the best streaming TV you can buy, it's whether it's the best TV you can buy. In our opinion, yes it is. Number 1. LG C2 OLED TV After dropping a few spots in 2022, LG C2 OLED is right at the top spot on our list of the best TVs. That's due to a number of improvements LG has made to the current model compared to the LG C1 OLED. Improvements include the new Alpha A9 Gen 5 processor, which is designed to offer better object enhancement and dynamic tone mapping than its predecessor. As well as that, you're getting virtual surround sound with the TV upscaling stereo content into 7.1.2 channel sound. While we weren't convinced by the claims of virtual surround sound, the audio performance is good for a flat screen TV and a number of different sound modes means you should be able to find an audio profile that suits your needs. In addition to those improvements, the C2 OLED carries forward the four separate HDMI 2.1 ports that it inherited from the C1 OLED meaning that it's the perfect companion for the PS5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. The LG C2 isn't flawless, however. Off-axis color saturation does diminish a bit when you move to the left or right of the screen when compared to the new QD OLED models, and LG doesn't support either the IMAX enhanced or HDR10 Plus format. There are, of course, high-resolution flat-screen TVs out there right now like the Samsung Q900B, which offers 8K resolution, and the new upgraded LG G2 OLED that has a slightly higher peak brightness. But for the price, this is the absolute best TV you're able to buy right now. So, that wraps up our list of the best smart TVs. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which smart TV you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. 
If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.